Or is this good? We hit here. There's no frame rate here. Okay. Blah. There's no frame rate droppage here. We were having a lot of that just a second ago. Um, I don't know if this quality is necessarily any better or worse than my normal videos, but I got a new phone. I'll show you guys later. Actually, in a few minutes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's, um... There's been some news. Stephen Amell posted on Twitter. I haven't gotten around to reading it, but everyone's already reported it. So I have faith in this. Uh, it's not really a rumor, it's news. I'm going to go look into this before uploading the video, guys, though. So uh, so don't worry about that. I'm, I'm, going, in, I, I'm, I'm going in after and before watching the video. So, But Arrow is coming to an end. Um, after season eight, and season eight is going to be a really short season. Um, it's going to be ten episodes instead of the usual twenty-three. Arrow has had a really good run. Um, I can't tell exactly what's going on. They're either quitting while they're ahead or something like that. You know, so that's unfortunate. I. I don't know, maybe this is for the best, but it really sucks, man. Oh, on top of that, I got a new phone, so my old video editor is not a thing anymore. You know, I used to mash up a bunch of vo uh, videos, put a bunch of the pictures of our cats or whatever in between them, or, you know, put pictures on them. My old, edit my old editor, it doesn't exist anymore. I went to go redownload it, because it wasn't redownloading on here. And, um, I looked it up, I, I could not find it. It was called, like, Samsung Movie Maker or something like that. Samsung, if you could put that back on here. Like, I don't know why you'd be watching this. This is a video on Arrow, not Samsung. I'll probably make another video, but... <laughs> Either way, if you could put that back on here, that'd be that'd be great. I don't know why it was deleted. I was using that for a while, and then it doesn't exist. I did get a warning a while ago that it would be deleted, or it would be removed, but I thought that was a glitch because I thought it was going to be removed from my phone. Um, so it really came and surprised me when it's gone. If anyone has any other good editing apps, because I don't want to download one of these other apps that are just super bucky, because I don't want to waste my time with it. Um, yeah. So, I, I can still edit videos in certain ways. I can chop them up, add audio, or whatever. That's all I can do. I can't mash them together. I can't do my edits, my boy series, which people probably don't even like anyways. But, you know, I like it. So, that sucks. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it was called... I don't even know, actually. No. Oh, I'm sorry, that was gross. Uh, back on topic, though. Arrow's ending after Season 8. That really sucks. They're going to have 10 episodes. So I imagine the crossover is going to be on Episode 10. Well, okay, so this is what other people are saying, not what I think. I imagine... I heard... The crossover should be around episode 8, or episode 10, rather than the episodes 8 or 9, like usual. Um, and that's going to be the final episode in which, uh, spoilers, Oliver Queen gets dead. No other way to say that, he, he dies. Um, so, you remember in Elseworlds, uh, him and Anti-Monitor had a a little talk about saving Supergirl or Flash. Well. Um. Supergirl and Flash. It seems like Oliver Queen is gonna die. Um. I don't think there's a way around it. I think he's just gonna die. Uh. But no, I think what they're doing is because note they just introduced Imiko. They're going to want to have a, fo a focus on her. Maybe she dies somewhere else. I don't, I don't know. I don't think she's going to die, though. They're going to have a focus on Emiko. For the last two episodes, and the crossover is going to be on episode eight. Oliver Queen will be dead for those last two episodes. We know that Oliver Queen isn't in the flash forwards. And, dude, this is what I said. I will try and find that video. But this is what I said. Um, I was talking about Arrow, and I was talking about the flash forwards. I was like... Dude, they're getting ready 
They're getting re- they're getting ready to they're preparing something. I I told I said they, like they're getting ready to end the show because they have flash forwards now. That um like you're restricting what you can and can't do with the flash forwards. Um because you're saying something happens in the future. You're saying something happens in the future, but it it, it, it couldn't, like, that means if something happens, like, oh, Felicity Smoke died, like, five minutes ago, that means she can't die in present day. That's just an example that I, I, it, it didn't happen exactly like that, and it, it, it's not going to happen, I don't think, because they're setting up that she's still alive in the future. But that's what I'm saying, is, like, you say something can't happen, or you say something happened somewhere else, so present day, not, that thing cannot happen, there's no suspense, and see, that's the problem, is they're setting themselves up for... You're restricting what you can and can't do, so you're going to have to be... Mm. And I think this is why they stayed away from the crossover portions. Like, the the arrow portion of the... This is not exactly what I meant when I mentioned that, I just said it wrong. But the arrow portion uh, of the show could have done... Like, because all of the portions are different in the other crossovers. Well, except... um. Crisis on Earth X, which feels coherent, but you have all these um, uh, heroes join forces, or whatever it was called, Legends of Yesterday and Legends of Today, uh, the prelude to Legends of Tomorrow. Um, when they were fighting Vandal Savage, the arrow portion had more grounded elements, but the flash portion had metahumans, people dying, um, and, well, I think they were metahumans. But people, people dying and then time travel to fix all that, that's totally a Flash thing. That's not an Arrow thing. And then with Invasion, um, even though Invasion also uh, had started... It, invasion is like the first Crisis on Earth X where they had... Um, they were kind of trying to s- blend all these things together rather than having a clear cut um, where whatever is, you know? Uh, that's clearly what they were trying to do. But... What ended up happening um, is that they still had these very... You, you could tell which part was which part, and the... It didn't... Um, Arrow... The Arrow episode was barely even a crossover. You had certain characters popping up in other areas, but for the most part, it was the Arrow, it was Arrow's 150, or 100th episode. So they wanted to do a um, Arrow-centric episode uh, with, all the, with the characters that premiered on Arrow um, that moved to Legends and whatever. So they even had Sarah Lance and Ray Palmer. Um, but if you remember in that, uh, they were in a alien hallucinate, or like, the aliens, the Dominators, they put a uh, hallucination thingy, or they put them inside a hallucination thingy, and uh, so they had a bunch of aerocentric stuff. By the way, something I noticed is they had all these villains there, Damien Dark, Malcolm Merlin, Deathstroke, Henchman, and Deathstroke. Malcolm Merlin, Deathstroke, Henchman, Deathstroke, Damian Dark. Um, I thought there were more than that. Probably not. But Malcolm Merlin was fighting against Thea, because that's what Thea needed to overcome. Uh, Oliver was fighting Deathstroke, because that's what he needed to overcome. Uh, they, Malcolm is Thea's father, but also a bad guy. Uh, well, more, maybe more of an anti-hero, but he leans more on the bad side. Um, Deathstroke was Oliver's nemesis. Um, the Deathstroke henchman, I thought that was a weird one. I was like, man, you're really reaching for the bottom of the barrel. But then it was, he was fighting Ray Palmer because one of those Deathstroke henchmen apparently killed uh, his wife, Anna, and um, broke his legs. I mean, he doesn't seem to show symptoms of his legs being broken. Because look at this. My hand is still, um... My hand still does that. So, I mean, Ray, is your, are your legs going to do that? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, but, um... Uh, and Sarah was fighting Damien Dark because uh, Damien killed Laurel. So... Um, obviously they had more Arrow-centric stuff in that episode, so that's, you know, um, 
and also the Supergirl portion that crossed over was literally just a scene that got shown in the Flash portion, so that was gay. I'm not homophobic, it was a joke, by the way. Um, it just kind of slipped out. Uh, wow. Whoopsies. Uh, anyways, uh, sorry about that. Um, I mean, this is awkward. Uh, you know, so I mean, I have no idea where I was going with this. Where the hell was I going with that? Uh, well... What the hell? So sorry guys, I heard some beeping. Um, so I don't hear. Uh, I mean, I'm still getting plastic off my phone. Okay, well, uh... So... But, um, hmm, no idea where I was going with that. Uh, the show's getting canceled. Um, well, I mean, well, not canceled, it's it's coming to an end. They seem to know. Um, if it does get canceled, though, no worries, all the characters can just finish their stories on other shows, you know. I mean, it might be hard to, you know, but they, they'd want to do it because they don't want to just leave a plotline open or anything. So, yeah. But I think that, um... That... I guess point of the story, I think the crossover is going to happen on episode 8, like it usually does. Elseworlds was episode 9, but Snowman episode 8. And, um... Then the next two episodes are going to be without Oliver and doing with the aftermath of that. And then maybe they'll talk more about his death in the flash forwards. So, I don't know. It really just sucks. Um, I mean, it's, it, I, th they were sure, I thought for sure they were going to make it to season 10.5. Like Smallville did. With season 11, season 11 or the aforementioned point five being a comic book story. Dexter, what are you reading? You're eating that. Get, Dexter, get. Nope. Spit it out. I don't know what you're eating. Get, yep, ew. I had to reach in my cat's mouth to get the plastic I just ripped off my phone. Um. But, okay. So. Shows, uh. You know, I thought, you know, since they were already on season 8, I thought they were going to be able to go up to season 10.5, but Smallville has a legacy that cannot be, under, that cannot be touched. Well, I mean, I hope we get an Arrow season 9 comic book. That'd be cool. And then in season 11 of Smallville, which is a comic book, they introduced Batman and Nightwing, I believe. I think that was the thing. So... Um, according to Wikipedia, it is. So they could do the same thing on, um, Arrow Season 9. Have a, uh, Dexter stop trying to find the piece of plastic. Having, you know, Arrow Season 9 would be really cool because you can, the comic books aren't restricted like the shows are. They can do whatever the hell they want. Well, they're restricted to the confines of that universe, but... You already know Batman exists, so, you know, maybe, um, since Emiko can't get the rest of her training from Oliver, and maybe she needs it, um, because he's gonna die, you know, assuming, he might not, it might be a happy ending and they'll have, uh, infrequent, um, crossovers, and the Green Arrow will appear on Flash or something. You know, he doesn't have to die. Um, but, uh, the, um, the, maybe Imiko will get her training for Batman or something. 
Anyways, it really sucks, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the show's cancellation. Season seven has been its best season, or the be- one of the best seasons yet. Like season two or season one was great. Season two was better. Three lost a bit of steam. Um, four just completely wrecked shit. Five was pretty good. Six I thought was average. Um, but then seven is just amazing. And um. Eight, I can't imagine it's going to be too bad. It's definitely going to be a shorter one, so they want to have less story, or they're going to want to try to shrink down the story that they're going to tell. Um, but since they know this is happening, they can prepare for it. And, um, so yeah. This, it's really just, it is an end of the era. The end of an era, so... Oh yeah, um, I have a bunch of Star Wars, uh, video game videos coming out. Let me know, uh, which ones you want me to do, and I'll just play a bunch of them. I can also redo the Force Unleashed ones if you guys want me to. Um, but, and I might be able to add, uh, commentary to them too. Not 100% sure about that, but I might be able to. Oh, by the way, that Red Death video I made that I think got some views... Uh, that was also on the Samsung Movie Maker thing. Now it's gone, so I can't do exactly that. But, I'll try. Alright guys, with that said, see you later, I guess. I don't, I don't know. R.I.P. Oliver Queen. R.I.P. Samsung Movie Maker. R.I.P. Everything that I know and love. Including you. <laughs>